January 28th, 2015. The last day the popular male modeling account, jsmodeling.co, posts any new content. Understandably, people are getting worried. And the question on everybody's mind, where is Jack Severson? Right now, multiple police agencies are searching for a missing man. A missing, missing person's case. For a missing man. There as crews look for a missing person. Forty-seven weeks, that's a long time without any new content. Well, you know, to quote Confucius, modeling is just a little bit like a river. It floods the deepest valleys, slows, hastens, twists and turns, but it's always there, and it will always quench even the deepest of thirsts. You know, I like to think of this quote practical on the daily, because I've learned so very much throughout this whole career of mine. I've met countless fascinating people such as myself, visited just the most spectacular places, tasted the finest wines, and I've learned many a thing about our humble home here on Spaceship Planet A. But there's one thing I haven't been able to find, and that nothing is. Myself. And so that's where I've been for these past weeks. I've been on sort of an internal tarot pilgrimage an illustrious journey all across the known world, straight from Uzbekistan to Bombay. But however, the country that my mind really most melted with out of all of them was the fine nation of India. There I met up with an old wise monk who taught me all the different ways of their culture and faith and overall just essence of the country. That is where I spent 42 of the 47 weeks, and the other five were spent hiding from the Palestinian government. However, I wish to remain a free man, so I will refrain from speaking any more about that. And what was this man's name? <laughs> this man's name. This man decided not to constrain his essence into something so indulgent as a name. No, this man would only answer to the call of the flowing breeze trickling through the autumn cherry blossoms. Oh wow, very interesting. Now, as I was saying, asceticism in India has always been a massive influence on me and my works. The monks have the ability to progress such inner peace and emotion, while remaining perfectly still for even days at a time. Sounds like natural models to me. So I went to this man to have him bestow upon my humble mind the ancient commodities of knowledge, which he positively emitted. Please, mate, teach me your ways. Of course, thank you. So for this time, I immerse myself solely in the cultural countrysides of India. In the fashion of traditional monks, I would carry with me no more possessions other than the robe on my back and a bowl with which to beg for my daily nourishment. Now for much of this time, I focused all of my mental prowess solely on the pursuit of true meditation. 
Now most other fledgling monks might picture, perhaps, a scene of natural serenity or beauty or nature in their minds in order to achieve a state of bliss. However, if I picture myself smiling down from the heavens, the raw extravagance and perfection plummets my entire soul into a state of deep bliss. So what was it like spending all this time in India? Well, you know, it truly is a magnificent country, and I found out a lot of different things about what's going on in here. But I just couldn't bear being away from all my adoring fans for such a long amount of time. So I just rushed into the nearest internet cafe and logged on to my account, and just to catch up with the times. However, what I found was positively shocking. Just hateful comment after comment just attacking me and my family and who I am as a person. The, the biggest problem was that my modeling, my art, just set ridiculously high standards of beauty and body image for both men, women, and dogs alike. And just the incoming flow of hatred and criticism was just too much for me to handle. I plummeted directly into the pits of Tartarus on a spiral of depression, and I needed a way back up. So, me and the boys, we got together, we had an idea. We tried to take a photo shoot get a bad picture of me, release it to the public, and it shows them that I really am human. I can, I'm one of you, I can relate. But, we realized, it just couldn't be done. So we do it, we do this photo shoot, and it's just not bloody possible. We try every angle, every technique, but we just can't get a not astounding picture. So, I was ruined at this point. I just had to leave the whole business behind and never return. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. I don't know where it goes, but it's home to me. I walk alone I walk this empty street On the boulevard of broken dreams Where the city sleeps And I'm the only one And I walk alone I walk alone, I walk alone I walk alone, I walk alone So uh, went on a little secondary spiritual journey, just trying to find out what my other purpose could be in life. I was in a bit of a band for a while, went by the name of Doodle Bob. I uh, released some freestyle slam poetry under the pen name Ernest Moon. Something, something was missing the whole time. And what was up next in your plan? Well, you know, after I wandered around these small towns, I realized something. No calling is ever going to fully embrace the essence of my being as much as modeling ever will. I log on to my Instagram. I look at all the comments, they say, you're setting the bar impossibly high. These standards will never, ever be met by anyone in society. Now, as a response to these people who are saying that my standards are too high, I would say, you're damn well right. I am the eighth natural wonder of this world. I will never be replaced by anyone ever in history, period. If you cannot handle that I have the mandate of heaven from above and a godlike good looks, than my tough toast. I'm gonna keep modeling as long as there is a small screen for you to tap twice in succession on to form our to be pixels into a heart shape 
expelling all the good and evil from this world and bring it all back to me. And one last bloody thing, mate. I am jsmorling.co and I approve this message. Going up to